Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show a simple example of a model AD dot net features in ASP dot net core, or you can say using business object as a model in ASP dot net core. So first of all, create a new project in the solution that is business application, or you can say class library project in solution. uh we have a department table so first of all create a department class and this is the model business model that is department in which we have two uh public property that is id and the name of the department now I want to access all the public properties in data access layer by using the business uh, object layer. Rename the class first of all. Rename your class departments. Now, after doing this, add a business access layer. business data layer that is type of public use i enumerable property of the department actually i want to show all the departments so use the i enumerable departments uh, public property in which you can use get to return the uh, list of departments so first of all create a list and then return the list in the controller section of the web application 21 project so for the adu.net we have a connection string so you can use this connection string that is available in uh, the your uh, your project or json file or app settings file you can say you know very well about the uh, uh, the basic logics behind the ad.net in ad.net we have um, must we have a namespace sql uh, system.data.sql client and system.data so uh, in this namespace we have some classes like uh, sql connection sql command sql data adapter data reader data sets so in the, by using nuget package you can uh, retrieve or you can say install system.data.sql client namespace or your package you can say in this package we have system uh, sql connection class sql command class a reader sql reader so by using sql connection con equals to new sql connection Oops. Uh, spell is first to check the spelling. Okay, that's fine. Now, using system dot data dot sql client, you can use also control dot to resolve the directive error. Now, con dot open because the default connection is closed. SQL command to retrieve uh, information from the table, or you can say communicate with the table, in which you can pass connection also. But uh, if you have a command property, also the connection property is also there for the command. And SQL command is uh, a overloaded constructor with the text and with the connection. Select from the departments. Initialize, initialize with the com connection. Now, uh, read the data which is get from uh, command object. Uh, read data from read data using SQL Data Reader. 
using the read method of the SQL data reader class okay now uh, store the data one by one into the list of the department you can create or you can make a list of the department types so department dot id is retrieved from the uh, retrieved by the reader 32 dot pass is convert object to integer types similarly with the name property oops we are getting error rd one dot two string is everything is okay because the name property is a string type oh cannot implicitly convert type string to integer actually the um, here we have a string by the using the reader we can get but in the name property is integer so uh, you can check in the department table it's also so first of all check your department table I think mistake is there yeah it's a type of integer to replace with the string okay now your problem is solved so create a or you can say make a list of the department type d1 equals to new list of department d1 dot add dpt that is a single uh, object added to the department list of the department you can say list in the list return d1 that is type of list build your project after build your dll will release and you can add into your any other projects add references business application okay in the home controller section copy the index method index one and use that class which is exists in your class library project so first of all add a namespace that is business application business application for ADO access the class by using the object access the public property that is the enumerable type and store that enumerable list into the list of the department and the department retrieved from the business application for ADO business data layer so first of all create a object for the business data access layer object b1 equals to new business data layer b1 dot departments dot to list and your dpt yeah that's the type of the thing you can do in your project if you want to know uh, if you know adio.net much better than entity framework but i recommend always you can work you you must to work with the entity framework 
because entity framework is a better thing and better approach and better technology from ADO. So I recommend entity framework. Now this is your result. Oops, getting error. In index one calling. Yeah, that's fine. These are uh, here. You have seen your departments. This is my. That is my code. The screen because recently I received a new comments on my channel that is screen size problems so this is the great things thank you